I'm Steve and this is my wife Sarah. We live in LA and we're super excited to show you California that we love. We're headed down the coast for four days. Between San Francisco and LA, there's all these different landscapes, different terrain, all kinds of adventures. There's so much in this state. You can never stop exploring. We're in San Francisco right now and gonna cruise all around the town today, get some great food, see some different perspectives of the city. I grew up in Canada and moved to LA about 16 years ago. And I'm from Oregon and I moved to LA 15 years ago. San Francisco is special to us. I think it's the very first road trip that we did when we were dating. We came to San Francisco, so it's got a special place in our hearts. I feel like it's a great city for a weekend getaway. Like the food's incredible. It's a bit more lush than LA is, which is a nice break. It is a really, really beautiful city and it just has so much to offer. Definitely bread snobs. Tartine is our favorite spot. Um, traveled Europe a lot and love good bread, so every time we're here we stop and then walk up to Dolores Park right up the street. It just has a really beautiful view. It's incredible, it's so good. Mine's better. You want some? Yes. <laughs> I think so. Something I always love about San Francisco is like, you could get dropped on any corner here and you know you're in San Francisco. Just the architecture is so unique and like, Pretty incredible that this park is right in the middle of the city, too. It's time for yachting. My name is Dave. Uh, I'm a captain for the San Francisco Sailing Company. It gives me great pleasure to uh, take Steve and Sarah out for a sail here on the bay. Show them around a little bit. There's nothing better than the view from the bay coming into the city from the bridge or around Alcatraz. Uh, just being able to see the, the land over there. Well, we had a great couple days in San Francisco, but early morning today as we hit the road, so we need coffee. So we're at Sight Glass, it's our favorite coffee roastery in San Francisco here. So we're gonna grab some coffees and hit the road. Welcome to Sight Glass. We work with our farmers all around the world, so the beans are coming from a great place. Then we get to turn them into magic little drinks here. I can't wait to like leave the city and then you that moment where you like hit the one and you're like feel like you're finally kind of like away from the yeah, city. Yeah, it's just like on the edge and the ocean just seems like totally yeah. endless. That's my favorite. It has such like a wild feel to it, you know, and like mix with like if you're gonna drive on a road, like it's like the best road in America. like a, a different country or like some of those places in Italy or something where you're just up on those super steep cliffs looking down. It's just, it's epic, it's breathtaking. It's like California 200 years ago, right? Like it's just untouched, there's nothing. Just the cliffs and the ocean. It's just absolutely iconic, California. limited 
of lodging in Mixer, so we always love to rent an Airbnb. This is one of our favorites with this beautiful infinity pool. It's really great if you want to rent it with just a couple of you or even a bunch of friends and just have it all to yourself. It's super special. Breton and I live in Big Sur and I'm a private chef. I'm really happy to cook for Steve and Sarah and bring out some local ingredients. This is abalone and I bought it off the wharf today. It has browned butter, capers. This is our local purple sweet potato and I put habanero honey that I made on it. Incredible. The food she makes, it just tastes different. You know, like you can taste that it's local, like this lettuce from her garden, the mussels are, you know, I don't know, that rock down there or something, it's amazing. These are local peas and favas with the miso butter and that stinging nettle. This is pork belly. It's just a really memorable way to have a meal that's special and different. Big Sur Bakery is the perfect spot for a carb overload. We're gonna head in there, get some sandwiches, get some loaves of bread, buy some iced coffee. It's, yeah, we stop every time. It's so good. The drive through Big Sur is absolutely breathtaking. There are so many great trails with beautiful nature, and it's just so amazing to find your own adventure. My buddy Steve, we go surf a lot. Uh, growing up in California, it's, it's a fun thing to do. It's kind of a mandatory, as people say. If you live by the ocean, you gotta at least go out and try it. If you're ever driving through California, you should definitely stop and surf. You should try it out. It's a lot of fun. We're here in Malibu at a spot that a friend told us about, Broad Street Oysters. I'm two oysters in and it's amazing, let me tell you. Here at Broad Street we specialize in New England inspired seafood. Being that we're in Southern California, we try and use as many local products as possible. So you'll see some fresh Santa Barbara sea urchin, we'll have mussels from Hope Ranch. Moved here six years ago, started as a pop-up with a mobile oyster cart and now here we are with four locations. This is our flagship and we are just continuing to grow. If you're ever coming through California, making your way through Malibu, this is a must stop place. It's the fruit of the sea. Los Angeles is such a special place. Within a few miles you have the beach, tons of art galleries and museums, and it really is just a cultural hub of the entire world. most unique cities of California. It's weird and fun and quirky. Yeah, you really feel like you're in LA when you're riding along the beach path here. Oh, 
we're at the end of a super fun four day road trip and we're capping it off with our favorite little Aussie cafe. It's called Great White. Uh, they've got incredible drinks, really amazing pizza. So we're gonna have a little drink and a snack and kind of talk about all the fun we just had. We had amazing food, incredible adventures, and also made some new friends along the way. Hopefully one day you'll have your own journey down the Pacific Coast Highway and find some hidden gems. 